So, you've seen all there is to see in the second dimension. You've stomped every Goomba, you've broken every block. Now what? Is this the end? Oh my! So yeah, we're gonna be talking about platforming in the third dimension in this video, and all the little quirky ways that it's just, it's, it's just not the same. So come with me as we explore the vassals of a vast kingdom, swim in tropical waters, and stare out at the infinite nothingness of the great abyss as we slowly become aware of our tiny insignificance in the eyes of a cold and unfeeling universe. Let's -a go! <laughs> Well, what makes 3D platformers so different from their 2D contemporaries? Well, I think the answer is pretty obvious. That's a 3. It's the addition of depth, the ability to move in a sphere, the z-axis, and this one seemingly simple change causes so many problems! <laughs> For a simplistic example, let's take Mario here. So a jump in 2D might look like this, and to clear it, you simply jump across. Simple. But in 3D, you need to be more specific about where you are and where you are going. Simply leaping forward isn't enough. You need to worry about the z-axis, or depth. The problem is, I don't really perceive depth. I don't know how to explain it, but the concept of things being farther away makes it harder to read. Anytime I do need to make a jump, I'll try to rotate the camera so that I'm jumping from side to side instead of towards or away from me. And if I can't do that, JUST SEND IT! And if I don't make it, I can use that jump as a measuring stick of sorts and correct for the next jump. Other visual indicators help as well in acting as measuring tools. For example, if a bullet build cannon is firing at me from the platform that I am trying to jump towards, I can determine how far away it is based on the time it takes for it to reach me. Not to mention, these games have tools like Flood, Luma on the Spin Jump, and to some degree Cappy for correcting jumps. Super Mario Galaxy is my favorite of the Mario 3D platformers, and I know all the arguments. The drama, I see you 3D sandbox fans. But the linearity of Galaxy really helps me. Its smaller, bite-sized planetoids make it so that I have less to take in visually. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I don't see the entire screen, so let's roll it back a bit. In a 2D space, all the information is presented to you. Even though this Goomba is on the other side of a wall, you, the player, can still see it. But in 3D, this isn't necessarily the case. You have no idea what's behind that wall. It, it could be anything. And the same goes for what's going on behind you and to the sides of you. The world is moving in ways that you don't have immediate visual confirmation of. You only have a slice of the pie, a piece of the pizza, capiche? And if you remember from our last video, I don't see the entire screen. I have even less of the pizza. Mmm, vision pizza. <laughs> to make up for my severe lack of vision, what do I do? If you watched our first video, you would know that a key aspect of sound is that it confirms actions without you having to see them. In the third dimension, sound needs to come from something. Like, I don't know, a car driving by your right side. You could probably tell that it was going by your right side without having to see it, right? The sound would reach your right ear first, thus giving you a vague idea of where it is in relation to your ears. And this essentially replaces my peripheral vision, not only using sound to confirm actions, but allowing me to map the 3D space without necessarily having to see it. You see, the waddle of Goomba is a treasure trove of information. For starters, it tells me that it's a Goomba. It also tells me where that Goomba is in relation to myself. And if the Goomba is moving in a perfectly straight line, it tells me that there is solid ground between me and that Goomba. Another great example of seeing with my ears are the green stars from Super Mario Galaxy 2. After you beat the game, a bunch of hidden stars become available throughout all the various levels. And some of these hiding spots can be devious. Just... just wow. <laughs> but to make things slightly fair, Nintendo added a jingle to indicate when you're getting near one of these green treasures. For most players, this is probably just a handy indicator that they're on the right track. 
For me, I probably couldn't find these things without it. Some people had questions about what colors I can and cannot see. And this is an unusually hard question to answer, because I don't actually think in color. Not even when it comes to naming them. When someone is like, oh, what color is that? My answer is based on what I think other people would say that color is. What matters to me more is contrast. Knowing where one object ends and another begins is paramount to making the most of my limited vision. I did take an online test and my results came back as strong protonopia colorblindness. So there's a term for you to search up later. 3D, as hopefully demonstrated, is significantly more complex than 2D, which if you play games through memorizing patterns and situations, could cause a bit of a problem. Since there are infinitely more interactions, you would need to spend exponentially longer memorizing and learning them, not to mention the uncertainty of depth. What is depth? And I just don't have that kind of time anymore. Or do you not have that patience? You know what? You didn't have to come out and attack me like that. Hi guys. Uh, thank you so much for making it through another video. Um, I really do not like to do this if it was not clear in the first one, um, but if you really want to be notified when we upload a video, go down below this one and there's a big red button that says subscribe. Click that and whenever we upload, you will, f you will know. <laughs> you will be the first one to know. Um, thank you guys so much. Again, if you have other questions, I love hearing them. Please put them in the comments. I want to make special note, uh, Chris, the guy who, who actually owns this channel, is putting in a ton of work to make these videos as good as they are. So please, if you're thanking me, I really appreciate it, but maybe toss a thank you his way as well. He's doing so much. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, see you guys next time. Yeah!